It's a hidden piece of Baltimore's history. Now a local artist is working to bring the city's buried waterways to light. WMER 2 News Elizabeth Worthington shows us how. They're called ghost rivers. You can't see them. Sometimes you can hear them. But they're flowing right beneath your feet all throughout the city of Baltimore. I've been looking at an old map of Baltimore in the neighborhood and I noticed that there is this creek running right through the middle of Remington or, or where you know Remington is now that obviously is no longer here. If you're looking around, it's roads, row houses, buildings. That map piqued artist Bruce Willen's curiosity. And once he started painting these blue lines marking where the streams are hiding, it got neighbors who live in this area curious too. Personally, I love walking down the sidewalk and seeing something that I'm not really sure what it is and wanting to get closer. Once you get closer and discover there's a buried stream below you, you'll likely want to know why was it buried and are there more? Bruce has done his research. Most of these rivers were buried as pri primarily for real estate developments. I mean, the city was growing very, very rapidly in the early 20th century. And right where we're standing, there was a 40 foot deep valley. Obviously, you can't build houses or factories on these like steep drop offs. So the land was flattened and cleared to build. He says there are dozens of waterways like this one in Remington, and he's marked 10 of them as part of this public art project. At least two more are in the works, and maybe in the future, the painted lines can be replaced with the real thing once again. There's actually a growing movement called daylighting, which, you know, bring, bringing these buried streams back to daylight. Bruce has teamed up with nonprofit Blue Water Baltimore to show people around the hidden web of water through a walking tour. I just want people to be able to look at their neighborhood in the urban landscape in a new way. You know, certainly working on this project has helped me to look at Baltimore and with new eyes. In Baltimore, Elizabeth Worthington, WMAR 2 News.